other school let's jump into the bandwagon into the what s33 uh function test of what the kidney you know <clears throat> no basically excretory function you know right there we're going to talk about about bilirubin like i told you to get what bsp right yeah we're well, talking about bilirubin now bilirubin i like this guy bilirubin you know bilirubin is gotten from him right of course him all right okay the normal concentration of bilirubin in the blood uh, yeah in, in the body is not it's supposed to be from what 0 0.2 to what one milligram per deciliter any increase in this power from above what one milligram per deciliter will lead to a hyper bilirubinemia basically you know all right okay as we know that the liver is serves, serves a very crucial role in the uh, maintenance of this particular uh, concentration any uh, impairment will lead to an increase in the formation of, in the in the concentration of bilirubin in the blood okay now basically there's what we call what icteric icterus what index and what is this icterus index icterus index is a is a way of what measuring the level of what the yellowing of the skin as a result of what the accumulation of bilirubin in the what in the blood you know that will go icterus what index but you know it's this particular uh it's like a uh a way of determining uh, if, if there is increase in what serum bilirubin but this test is actually outdated right now it's not widely used all right now the the the, the 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 most current what clinical uh, method of determining uh, the level of bilirubin in the blood is using what we call the van the van den Berg what reaction yeah that's cool van den Berg reaction understand all right the pre, the, the van den Berg reaction usually uh, it has its own what van den Berg reagent which is a what uh, it, we call that a dye Adotized what sulfonyl acid, you know. Normally, this particular sulfonic acid is being mixed with what sodium nitride, basically. Sometimes, you know, not sometimes, most times. All right. What happens? You understand? What happens? Normally, like I told you, in a in a in a normal individual, we we usually get oh, what we, what is called what. A negative negative what van den Berg reaction basically you know that's an individual who's what serum bilirubin concentration is what is within the normal range you understand okay as we know that what we have two types of bilirubin we have what the direct bilirubin or the conjugated bilirubin right yeah conjugated bilirubin and what the, the indirect bilirubin indirect bilirubin or what the unconjugated bilirubin so basically what do we mean by this one you know this one is conjugated it simply means it has a what it has a it was below the pink, basically, you understand? And then it means it has an additional sugar group added to it, you understand? This particular bilirubin that comes from what? The hemoglobin, no, sorry, yeah, yeah, of course, it's come from the hemoglobin, which when, when, it's, when it undergo degradation, give, right, giving us hem, and what, globulins, right? Hemoglobin, right? All right, now, now the, 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 glup, the bilirubin that comes from the hem is usually what? Bilirubin monoglucuri monoglucuronide on a sound basic monoglucuronide but after it has undergo a conjugation in the liver because the liver is the one that conjugates the bilirubin to form the bilirubin diglucuronide on a sound which is now the conjugated bilirubin you understand what i'm saying all right now this conjugated bilirubin is what soluble in water while the unconjugated bilirubin is not soluble in water so in the Van den Berg reaction, you understand? Based on the two types of bilirubin, we also have what we have two mechanisms, or I can call it here, yeah, or two procedures or pathways of the Van den Berg reaction, right? All right, fellas. 
We have the direct Van den Bach reaction. Let me let, let me use V uh, VDB right, and then that's first one. Second one we have the indirect VDB right. All right. We have the direct and the indirect. Now, in the direct Van den Bach reaction, you understand? It simply means that what since the direct bilirubin is soluble in water, in water, it means that what there is no need to dissolve this what this bilirubin in what methanol. Absolutely no need to dissolve it in methanol, understand? That is why it's called what, a direct test. Because this particular bilirubin can dissolve in water and react with what? The Van den Bach reagent, which is called what? A diazotized what? Sulfonic. Yeah, so sulfonic acid. So sulfonic what? Acid, you know? Sulfonic acid. And the, the, the principle or the mechanism of reaction is that what? The bilirubin is going to react with this particular reagent to produce what is known as what? A azo what? Bilirubin. You know? And this bilirubin is what? This azo bilirubin is what? Purple in color. You know? It's purple in color. Alright, now what are we saying? Understand? But in, in, in the, in the, in the indirect bilirubin, for sorry, for the indirect bilirubin and in the indirect what VDB, that's Van der Bar reaction, what we because uh what we do because what this particular bilirubin is not soluble in water, we have to first dissolve it in what methanol. That means this one is what methanol dependent pathways, you know, it depends on what the solution of this bilirubin in methanol in order to what to make it soluble so as for it to react with what this particular what the volume bond reagent understand so now when you dissolve it in methanol it becomes more soluble and therefore the reaction cannot take place understand and it will also form the same product as the bilirubin which is also purple in color understand so what i want you to understand is that what the main difference between the direct vertebral reaction and the indirect vertebral reaction is just what the involvement of disso dissolution in methanol. But basically, as a bilirubin is what is formed. Understand what I'm saying? All right, that's very, very good right now. But it's very important for you to note that uh, in the what in the in, in the direct bilirubin, you can also have what we call a biphasic, make oh my, a biphasic what pathway. You understand? In this bi biphasic pathway. It involves for the addition of what methanol. You understand? All right, fellas. For for more on liver function tests, you can just click on the next episode for you to have a better understanding of the concept.